Hello guys, today we will see how Gulf Trust Tunnels work and uh, how we can convert our SAS SCSS file to CSS and uh, how we can uh, watch changes and so that it will automatically convert uh, all SCSS file to CSS whenever we make any changes on our SCSS file. So uh, let's start. So here uh, you can see I have just uh, a folder named gulp and here a very basic html file so to install gulp we need to write some command and uh, to write command just open terminal from here click new terminal and write uh, npm init dash y so npm init will create a package.json file for your project with basic information so here package the json file has been create has created and this is renamed as test and you can change all this information so now we don't need to change so to install gulf we need to write npm install that the save that did so that the save that dev means it will be saved for development dependencies calc so enter this command so this command will install gulp package that we need and we will need uh, we will use two more packages gulp sas and gulp watch so gulp sas is basically for converting your sas file dot .css extension file to css and gulp watch is for watching the file changes so we will need uh, these two packages as well so here i can here you can see gulp has installed and the version is 4.0.2 so now install gulp sas so here you can see uh, they have provided command so let's, let's copy it and paste it here hit enter so it will install gulp sas so here gulp sas and sas both packages have been installed so now we need to install gulp watch So here, uh, Gulp Watch will be installed, right? Uh, yes, it is already installed. So now we need to create Gulp file, and uh, here we need to name it Gulp File dot js. So now we use straight straight and even we can just copy code snippets from here uh, as you can see this example for later use so it's better to copy from here and just paste it so here you can see gulp required so gulp require it will just require gulp and uh, we need sas now I'm commenting this export. Let's let's just focus on build stack. So here you can see Gulf source. Gulf source means uh, it will just take file from this location. So we can uh, change it as we need. So let's create a folder here, name SAS, and uh, create a file style dot scss so here i have created a file inside sas folder and so i will tell the source is sas slash all dot scss so whenever i created scss file it will automatically take from the sas folder and after and this con this line of code is for converting sas and whenever any error throw it will log as sas dot log error and this line is is telling the destination is 
CSS, CSS folder. So we need to write like this CSS and let's create a folder here CSS. So SAS from this source it will convert all SSS file and it will throw in this destination and exports dot build style so exports dot build style so build style here is command and uh, this command equal to this function means whenever we hit this command it will run this task so we have uh, a sas file let's write some basic style like body background rate and color is watch so if i uh, see my project local slash gap you can see no style is here so now if i uh, hit this command gal build style it will export the spss file to css and destination will be this folder so let's hit gulp build style and here important thing is you can uh, name it whatever you wish so build style is not required you can write your own name so gulp build style put in here so here you can see the task is started and finished and we can see a folder is inserted in css folder and we can see the style has already come so now if i refresh the page i could not see the changes because i didn't include it in my html file so let's include it link SPSS slash style.css so if I refresh the page I can see the style so our first task SPSS to CSS has successfully done so now we can uh, see changes so to see changes you need to write this code gulp uh, exports dot watch equal to a function so export dot watch is basically a command and uh, gulp dot watch it will look for all files so our file will be stored here sas slash style dot css so we can write like this sas slash all dot css so it will look for all css file and whenever any changes occurred on this file it will it should run this task okay so if i hit uh, gulp watch command so this task will be started so inside gulp watch and we can see watch is already starting and it's it, it's not going to end it it will be just as it is so we can uh, make changes to see how it how it will work so here we have HTML and uh, here we have some p tag. So let's write p tag color is green. So here uh, we can see build style task started and already finished within 65 ms. So here uh, we can see this. We can see the changes on our style.sv file. So now if I refresh the page, we can see the color has become changed. So our gulp sass and uh, gulp watch is working fine. And if you uh, need more files to add, so you can just add more file here like custom.scss. So if I if you uh, write custom.scss and uh, suppose you need to start this custom list. So let's write dot custom custom width 200 pixel height 200 pixel 
and background color is yellow okay so here uh, once i hit save it has created a custom .css file also so now we need to include this file custom .css to see the style on the browser so here you can see this box has appeared with the style so now we have understand how to use gulf sas and gulf watch package to convert our css file to css and uh, even we don't need to run this command again and again we can just use this command gulf watch to so it will uh, automatically change automatically see all changes and uh, run this task so thank you for watching